Okaloosa County's partnership with the SS United States Conservancy could transform the Gulf into the world's largest artificial reef. News 13's Heather Basley is live in our studios tonight. And Heather, how did commission members feel about the partnership? Amy, Okaloosa County commissioners voted four to one today to buy the SS United States, but not everyone thinks the project is worth the investment. Okaloosa County commissioners believe they have sealed the deal to buy the SS United States. The old cruise ship has been sitting at a dock in Philadelphia since 1996. It was built to accommodate about 2,000 passengers, but it was built in a time following World War II where uh, the United States was trying to figure out ways to get troops across the seas very, very quickly. Um, so it was built in a manner to where it could actually be retrofitted to accommodate 14,000 troops and bring them over to Europe if needed. Okaloosa County is budgeting the $10.1 million to buy the ship, pay the dock fees, perform the necessary cleanup, tow it to the panhandle, and sink it about 20 miles off the coast of Destin. Many think this will boost tourism. They're not just places to go, they're true destinations. Bringing an SS United States here as an artificial reef would bring immense opportunities for us. They provide a lot of ecosystem benefits to marine life and um, diversity in the area. But some feel $10 million is too much. That $10 million that you know, it's hard right now. When you look at the people that are hurting because of these hurricanes, for us to take $10 million and sink it into the Gulf of Mexico, that's a hard sell. The current owner is the SS United States Conservancy. The group looked at restoring the famous ship as a museum or a floating hotel, but it was too expensive. Okaloosa County has budgeted about $1 million of the $10 million to build a land-based museum for the ship's artifacts. County staff expects diving activity around the ship to generate $3 million a year to the local economy. Now, Heather, is the county paying the entire $10.1 million? No, they're not in the full amount. They're going to have funding partners, so the county's total investment will be around $5 million or less. Heather Basley reporting live tonight. Thanks, Heather.